let me just sorry we're a little bit late we had a bit of a what can we call it a malfunction oh, well i'm going to have a cup of tea a cup of tea i've got a, I've got a mug of tea Hello everybody. Hello, everyone. hello, hello, hello. How are you all? How is everything? Hello there, Chloe. How is everybody tonight? Hi Sophie. Hi Alex. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Evening to Rosie. Hello everybody. Hello everyone. Now I don't know if we're coming to you from your phone or from a tablet or from your television. But uh, thank you very, very much for having us in your life right now. I hope you've had a lovely, lovely day. Uh, it, the sun has been shining. It's been very, very hot. You're looking mighty sort of fresh in the oh. face. No, you look healthy. Do we oh, like we... it? Are we liking the beard, everybody? We don't know whether we're going to keep the beard or not. Uh, I there's think certain you look part, great with the beard. There's certain parts of Yvette's body that doesn't like the tickling. Don't be silly. What I'm saying. Not that I'm allowed like in those that. parts anymore. Carl looks <laughs> roses, says Janet. Is that sorry? We're both blind, and the and the phone is sort of down there, so Rosie. we can't really see. Rosie, Rosie. hi, Rosie. Rosie Janet, yeah. uh, Marmite. It's a bit like Marmite. They say in the beard. You either love it or you well, don't it's like perfect. it. Yeah, it's lovely. Hi guys, I'm on my, you're on my our iPhone. Um, cracking beard, Carl says Harry. Thanks, um, mate. Will you stop moving my chair? Stop it! I say it's like being on an, an investigation. Thank you, guys, on my iPhone and being in our lives. You're very welcome, Louise Jones. Yeah, thanks for popping in and and, and having a chat to us on this uh, uh, Thursday night. It is a Thursday night. Is loving Thursday the beard. Night. People are loving the beard. Makes you look younger, Carl, oh, bless says you. Maggie. Well, the, if um, I cover most of my face up, that's actually quite a good thing. I'm Natalie, right please, can you say hello to her mum, Heidi, I think that was. Heidi, is it? Can you come... Hello, Heidi. If that was Heidi, if very, not, let us know. Very, very quickly. Um, great to see you this evening. When is most... Got to go so quickly. I can't can, can, reach can you, it. Can you... You've got longer arms than I have. Go down. You both look lovely. Yeah, but, but go that side, you got to go that side. What are you, what, oh, hang on, what are you looking go at? Go on, keep going, keep going back down. At? Sorry, we're, we're, as you can see, we're technophobes. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Quicker, 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 quicker. Quicker, quicker. There. Sounds quicker. like our sex there. life. <laughs> there you go. What, what, there. what? Right. Hi, Yvette and Carl. Can you wave to Dion? Dion. He's been home from hospital a week now. He oh, had Dion. Pneumonia. Hi, Dion. Hope you're feeling a little bit Dude, better, sweetheart. Hope you're feeling sweetheart. a bit better. Mwah! And lots of love. Lots of love to you. Uh, hi, Yvette and Carl from Italy. Uh, Paola, hello, Paola. Hello, sweetheart, how are you? Um, hope you're okay. Um, hope everything's sort of, is it getting back to normal there or, well, as normal as it can oh, be? Um, anyway, lots of love. You two are a breath of fresh air, I don't know why. I don't know why. Why are we a breath of fresh air? Do you know last night, I'm going to let you do oh. last, last night, fast asleep, middle of the night. Enjoying a very deep sleep, very deep sleep, and um, I was awoken by the person next to me going, ah! <laughs> grabbing hold of me, shaking me, going, "There's something on the bed! It's in the room!" Ah! And I and I turned around, my sweetheart. I said, "It's fine. It's fine." And I was trying to calm down. Turn the lights on! Turn the lights on! There's something on the bed! And I turned the lights on, and there was nothing on the bed. And so she went, oh, oh, I must be dreaming. Went to sleep. Woke up this morning and said, oh, you had a thing last night. She went, did I? I, I don't remember, remember any of it. So it's a, obviously a night terror, which I'm now and again, I, I do suffer from. Guys, can you say, oh gosh, go, 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 go. Guys, can you say hi to my daughter, Megan Jones? She's a key worker working in a care home and doing 12 hour shifts. Oh, Megan, Megan Jones, big shout out Megan to you. Megan Jones, Great hello. Mwah, 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 mwah. Keep and up the good work. A lot of people won't be saying thank you there because they can't or they don't understand or whatever. But do you know what? Everyone else in the, uh, says thank you, and they do mean thank you, everyone. Uh, Hello from Boston, Mas Massachusetts. Ah, Boston. Da, 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 I haven't been to Boston for years. Da, 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 da. Massachusetts. <laughs> it's, it's the song that Anita O'Day sings. Me Massachusetts. Falling off. Look at the roots. Oops. Look at the roots. Look at the roots. I'm going to show you this bit now. Look, you ready? It's a white bit there. Can you see? A little it? bit, yeah. Can you see the white yeah. bit? Yeah. Oh yeah. And the thing was, I suppose. It's the only time. Her shut collar up, has matched shut the cuffs. Up. No, 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 no. 
do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm a, I'm a huge Ficker and Dibley fan. We both and are. I, and, well, we both are. And I'm trying, just through the beard, I'm trying, what's his name? I can't remember Jim. the Jim. I'm trying to get Jim's, no, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get that. I'm going to perfect that. That's very good. What's that? Uh, hello from Colchester. Would you ever visit, as we have loads of haunted locations, also me and my mum tend to fight over Carlos. We both have a crush on him. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, very um, nice. I'd love to go to Colchester. We love Colchester. We've been, we've been to Colchester before. Uh, I think we, we definitely need to come back. Um, when all this... Um, this craziness is finished. We're we're going to be. I think a lot of people are going to be ex experiencing a lot more things, aren't they? Because they, I think people are realizing that how lucky we were just have the freedom to wander around. Mm. Um, and you know, a lot of us look at my hair. <laughs> I can't do anything. Can't do a thing with it. None. None of us can do a thing with our hair. Like I put on my social media today. I swear to God, it's just getting crazy. Um, yes, yeah, so going the back forest. to. Huh? High from the new forest. Oh, I like the new forest. It's we very like the nice. new forest. Very I like the old pretty. forest as well. Yes. Um, I wonder if uh, there has been a rise in paranormal activity of late, just out of interest. Yeah, but what gets me is, is one of the things, uh, and I think I mentioned it in uh, uh, the last extra, if you guys watched that at um, Gloucester, which was really scary. But it's one of the things I think that, that the noises that we can experience, certainly when we're investigating, Sometimes we just think they are as an answer to our questions. You know, is anyone mm. there? Can you knock a noise? But are these things just constantly happening? And just, you know, any investigator is lucky to be there on a specific night for that to happen on that specific day. And it just constantly happens. So you think places that are empty, for argument's sake, Gloucester Prison, which will be empty at the moment, mm. you just kind of think, is it happening now as we're speaking? Yes, does a, does a and, tree make a sound? I've got a fly. Oh, is it an ant? No, it's an ant. It's an ant. I've got an ant in my teeth. Oh, we've got ants in the house. Not ants in my pants. No, ants there's nothing in been house. in her pants for years. Uh, shut up, you. Yeah, wanted to, what, what wanted you to do most haunted, says Becky. Well, it was just, well, we won't tell the whole story because so many people know it now, but it's just sort of, we both were sort of interested in the whole thing and we, we had an idea and we came up with it and we... We decided to go to Michelin Priory, didn't we? And we sunk everything we had into it. We believed yeah. in it. And, and that um, was it. And, and, and fought like crazy to get it on the yeah, telly. Yeah, we fair. did. And, um, and, and that was it. And it grew. We were just very lucky. And, and, and it, but again, it's, it's, it's you guys. It's all the fans that, that loved it. I mean, it was just a TV show. Yeah. Well, it was an investigation that was on the television. And uh, it just struck a chord, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, we believed in it, as we still do believe in it. Um, and love doing it then as we, we, we love doing it now. Um, and, and it's lasted, well, since we started doing the prep for the first pilot, 20 years. 20 years, it's a long time I'm going to make another cup of tea because I've got an ant in that one. Oh, OK. Hi from all my doctor and nurse co nurses, colleagues at Western Sussex Hospitals. Hello, Hello Amanda. Hello, Western Sussex Hospitals. There. Hello, everybody there. Fabulous. Yvette, how's the crafting going? Well, I have to say... I sort of got a bit bored of it. Shall I show you what I've done so far? Does anybody want a cup of tea? Um, this is this is my, she said, and I've got a bit bored with it. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. So that's how far I got. That's it. That's that's it. And I got, and then and I got, I thought. When you get to the, um, what's that thing called? A flamenco, flamingo, flamingo. When I got to that bit, I thought, oh God, it looks so complicated. I haven't even, I haven't done it. So I keep it in a waitress bag on the chair. And when I think, when I've got nothing else to do, I will go back no, to that. No, you won't. You know me so well. I, I know you so well. You've been through lots of different things and phases. And, and, and I know when you're going yes. to c complete one or not complete one. Yes. And that's one of those ones you're not going to complete. Yes. Um, Somebody's saying, keep the beard. Um, take up building with Lego, says uh, somebody. <laughs> Look at us both, we're like this. My God, we're so blind. Um, are you drinking vino in your cups? No, look, I don't know if you can see. It's no, just tea. No, I had an ant in mine. I just wouldn't tea. throw vino away. It's just tea. Uh, I had a little glass of wine earlier on. For those who know me well, I do like the red wine. And I've had a little glass of red wine. One, one small glass of red wine, I've been told, 
Um, that it's actually very good for you. Yeah, it's some drunk tramp at the no, crossroads. No, it wasn't. It's full of antioxidants and what he good said. things. You have a glass, so it's just you. That's only because you forced me to. I don't force you to. What's that say? Especially the Red Lion Hotel in Colchester. My nan worked there when she was 21. Saw a ghost of a lady called Alice. She quit. Oh, she wow. was that scared. Also, can you shout out my mum, Linda, please? Yes, hello, hello. Hello, Linda. Do you know, that it's those stories that, that are really ring sort of true because if someone is that scared, they quit their job. And let's face it, you know, to quit your job is a huge thing because it's your income, it's it's your livelihood. And to quit a job because of what you've seen is, is, is a big thing. Mm, scary. God, well, I, you know what? I couldn't work in a haunted place, especially some of these security guards. You live guards. in one? No, I know I live in one, but I'm used to it now. But can you imagine being a security guard in some like Shrewsbury prison and you have to go round on your own and lock up? Or... I know, but I think oh. you get used to it. I think you get used to the, oh, used no. to the sounds. Because no. it's, it, it's not that negative apart from that big bar that's right there. No, not negative. Of course it's negative. Oh! oh! Kettle's bald. And, oh my God, did you... Oh, sorry, love. Did you all see the... <laughs> <laughs> Carl does these amazing fart noises. They actually sound like real farts, but they're not real farts. Um, even though he'll tell you they are. Um, but they're not. Uh, yes, the footage on YouTube of Accrington um, and the camera. So you hear that noise and then the camera starts to shake and then moves off to the side. We're going to put that on a YouTube uh, channel, on this channel, because... Um, we'll put it on tomorrow night. Because there's other cameras that have got the similar noise, not the same noise, a similar noise. It's almost like something's gone up to different cameras and made the same noise, which is really extraordinary. And to me, I honestly, it sounds like someone's trying to talk. That's what I think. It's but just extra. If you haven't seen it, go to my Instagram page, um, and it's or there. We'll upload it up here tomorrow night. Oh yeah, or we'll wait for tomorrow night. And we'll upload it that and the other cameras as well, as best we can. Because the thing to remember, where's my glasses? Um, hold on. The thing to remember with that particular um, piece of footage is that all of the cameras that are around Accrington, because um, Jenny has put a load up there and Mike Black has put a load up there so together we've got so many cameras in there yeah. I think 16 in total I think uh, most of them you can see live on on the um, most haunted experience website mm -hmm. um, or Facebook page you can see every avenue towards that camera so if there was a person walking towards it you would see them you crossing see the them. shop yeah the fact that no one's seen in there Makes it's it even more remarkable. I think it's fantastic. I'm I think very it's one of the best pieces we've caught. I do too. I think it's very, very exciting. And then what about the noises in the in the? Um, I've got honey on my hands. Well, go and wash it off now. Sorry. But but in the main, <laughs> in the main courtroom, courtroom one. What about those noises that? I know it's fantastic. I can't wait for you to see all of those the the, the other cameras and the footage that we got there. And what was it? Is somebody saying hello from Port Levin in um, oh, in Cornwall? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. We've been there. Absolutely gorgeous. Hello. To everybody in Cornwall, anybody else in Cornwall who's watching, hello, hello, hello. And somebody else has just asked a question. Oh, a big hello from Mark, Sophie and Jake from Warsaw. Love you guys. Hi there, Mark. Warsaw, hello, yeah. everybody. Um, we watched went with Woodhouse last night. Brilliant, says Maggie. Yes, very, very good. Uh, another thing was uh, somebody's... Oh, how's the bird ha birdhouse update, please? Right. Now, <laughs> the original birdhouse is still under construction. However, I started a new birdhouse. You have, yeah. And I have to say I'm quite proud of it. When you see the new birdhouse, you will sit there and go, yes, he can do it. I'm very impressed, very proud of you. Well, it's made out of old bits of wood that I found. We've got loads of old bits of wood around the house um, because I wouldn't throw any wood away. Uh, and so I've, I've managed to glue most of it together. And anyway, have a look when it's when it's done. It looks really good. I'm, I'm after really... some roofing felt at the moment. I can't yeah. find any anywhere. It's a, what's it? hi Yvette fiddling. It looks like fiddling. <laughs> hi Yvette fiddling. <laughs> what is the chant that you do on Most Haunted? Oh, that's interesting. Um, it is. Um, Just if I got it on here. No. Oh, okay. It's um, it's it goes Arte Marcus. Vega Vera Vega Dulele Ulam Amen. And it basically is, it's Kabbalah and it's the end of the Lord's Prayer. And um, the weird thing is, is that um, not a lot of people know this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I'm going to reveal something to you now. I don't know why I'm talking in this voice. I've become possessed, I have. 
Right, so that particular, uh, it is Kabbalah, and uh, that particular uh, language was um, at the beginning of birth of, the birth of Christianity. And um, uh, uh, the, that particular language, I think I've got this right, I'm probably not, and you're all going to jump on me, um, but was um, born in Homs, Syria. Um, and, oh, the flying kiwi. Hello! <laughs> Hello, flying kiwi. Good evening. Um, and what? No, I can't cross over that one. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. Oh, Homs in Syria. Homs in Syria, that's right, which is where my grandmother is from. So when I say the words, I'm yeah. just sort of like, I don't know why, it sort of feels good. Um, and yes, yeah, so my grandmother, Mary, um, is actually from Homs in Syria. And not a lot of people know that. And I'm very, very proud and of the fact that um, she came from there. Um, and it's just so sad to see what's happened in Syria. Uh, and she uh, were um, Christians and uh, her family owned a vineyard. And um, I think I put some of the pictures of my uh, grandmother and her family up on social media, which is absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And you see them there in the, in the garden with all the flowers and everything. And it's such a shame to see Syria in such a, uh, an awful mess now. And um, it made me upset a little bit because I thought, I bet you've got relatives there somewhere and I'll yeah. never know. I'll never know. Anyway. Well, Stephanie just said hello from Surrey. And Surrey's a great place. Oh, because that's, that's where, where you're I was born. from. There you are, see? In Surrey. Very Guildford posh. in Surrey. It's very, very posh. posh Surrey, so, so, so. Well, not that I was born yeah. there, but... um, Steve is saying, what was your favourite investigation? There's been so many. I, I, I think for one of my scariest, it's still got to be standing hall. Me too. Because it's just eerie. But it was fun. it was it was wonderful because all of us felt the same. It really felt like that Scooby Doo kind of where all of us were together and it was kind of we're going to split up. And I remember us all walking over to the um, port, you know, the porter cabin type things, you oh, know, yeah, the, yeah. at prefab, and yeah. and all the lights went on. Uh, all the lights went on and then they went off and then they went on again and and the amount of things that we all saw it was absolutely fantastic so if you fancy uh, watching our favourite well one of our favourite investigations it's Stand and Hall um, so I don't know which series that is but um, I th yeah it'll be it'll be the obviously the second lot of series we did uh, for which would still be shown on really uh, we're getting the series back every year now um uh, and we'll start showing them on the channel uh, when uh, when we get them all back. But is it what, what's the scariest? The, is there a place you wouldn't go back to? Um, I've never really asked you that. I think I, I would have used to say sort of like um, I'm just trying, I tell you where you, where did we film with a bullet from a Valentine? Newton House, is it? Newton House. Newton House in Wales. Dear God yeah. in heaven. Now that place, I don't know what it is. But as soon as I walked in, it, 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 you just knew something bad was there. In fact, there's an edit on there that the channel wouldn't allow because it was too scary. Do you remember Bring you the back original around. edit where I got scratched and the channel said we couldn't show a part of it? So we had to oh, change that edit. yes! I crushed your stomach. Yes. So now... Oh, yes! Yes. Because we've got the copy, we've got the rights to that one back. That back on. I may re-edit that and put that oh on my cut god, how exciting! And Newton House, it, it just and I, um, we um, didn't we film and you couldn't put it in there, didn't we film us in the car with Bullet from a Valentine? That was right. And we got tapping <laughs> on the outside of the car. <laughs> you lot ran outside. It was it was the great thing, but it was 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 the guys who are absolutely fantastic. Lovely, I mean, lovely, lovely are, guys. Just a great bunch of lads. I and mean, for those of you, sorry to interrupt, the, the, those people who don't know who Bullet from a Valentine are, because they're on, a, a, you know, if you're not a metal fan, then you won't know who they are. But they're a, a very successful uh, uh, a metal band, and they are massive fans of Most Haunted. And and the the thing was, you'd have thought that there was nothing that they, you know, they've experienced anything. I mean, these guys have been on the road for a long time. They are. Yeah, they're, they're, they're great at what they do. So when we had this opportunity, I honestly thought this was going to be hard work, didn't I? Because mm. I thought, crumbs, what if they're you know, off their faces or all this? And they weren't. You know, to have those guys, they were so professional and so into it, absolutely so into it. And the great thing was, was when we started to do this incantation at the top, everyone was so, to start off with, yeah, we don't, yeah, call up the devil, call up this, call up whatever you want, call up something negative. And when something we started to do it, only two of them stayed. The others went outside yeah. and sat in the cars with Yvette 
and Mel, the makeup Mel lady. up the makeup lovely, artist. Lovely, lovely Mel. She she couldn't take it because no. she she was in tears. And when we actually caught this this um, this cut happening across my stomach in front of these guys, they actually witnessed it happening, mm. and it suddenly stopped. And one of them turns around and says, "Can we just say the Lord's prayer?" Yeah. <laughs> Which was yeah, yeah, just coming on from bring it on, do everything you like, and then they saw yeah. stuff happening. Great stuff. But I'd love to do something with them again. We had to leave. They had to leave early, but they'd all had enough. They yeah. just it was yeah. so intense, and it was. And I remember I was the last one in the kitchen area where we sort of all it was sort of the base room. And I remember I was the last one in there, and I was because everybody had gone off on vigils, and I was having a break, and. I remember sitting there absolutely petrified because I was hearing the doors opening and closing and there's nobody there. Absolutely, but that whole place, the wheelchair moved on its own. Stuart went, Stuart went, just, oh, he, he did just a Dell went, boy, didn't he? He did a Dell boy. Did he go went, just backwards? Yeah. That was right, yeah. And that wheelchair that's the kind we, of yeah. wheeled and itself around. don't you remember around, the though? radio, the old fashioned wireless and we kept getting, <laughs> yeah. but it wasn't plugged in. Fantastic, right, yeah. Great place. brilliant, brilliant place. I'd love to go back there again, but absolutely, I'd be terrified. Actually, should we go back for the next series? That would be so cool. We should go back for the next we series. We should go back. Sorry, um, it's us Have your on. seeds grown? Yes, they have. Yeah, have you have. met Mary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they have grown. We've got the potatoes, shh, potatoes, lettuce, onions, and chives. We've really covered the potatoes, because yeah. apparently when they start to come up, you're supposed to... Yeah, so we keep going over that. That's doing recovering that. it. That's recovering it. So yeah, so it's all coming up nicely. Um, hi, Yvette and Carl. I can't say for, hi from Sussex. Have you, ha, have anybody, anything follow you? Ho? No. no. Um, would you ever go back to 30 East Drive? Just let me expand on that. The, I don't believe anything can follow you home from a haunted location. I think the only things that you will have with you are things that you went with already. And I think they're, that they're good things and they are uh, probably your family and, and, or friends that are, that are with you. No location, if you go to, will anything latch yourself onto you and follow you home. It can't. If things follow people home, nowhere would be haunted because every ghost would have buggered off with somebody else. And you've got to think that out of the hundreds of years of these locations and these ghosts wandering around for hundreds of years aimlessly, why would they pick one of us to, to go home with or only you guys or any investigator? Mm. It's, just, it's, it's, it's an error that people think, I believe. I am um, I, seeing a lot of, and I often get these questions on social media and one of them is, would we go back to Pendle Hill? And I've answered this quite a few times um, and the thing is, we would love to go back to Pendle Hill, but of course the house that um, is, is not the same. It's it's all and people live there now, and there's not really anywhere to investigate anymore. There's outside, but um, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, but you wouldn't recognise the house, would you? No, absolutely. And not. And they don't want the no, no. And I think troubles up when we did the live because it's only a tiny sort of small track, isn't it, mm. to where the house was? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> The world descended on this tiny yeah. little community, and I think they got very upset very, with people. They didn't like it at they, all. They didn't like that. Saying the woods at Borley Rectory would be good. But they, I thought there was a housing estate that had been built on that site. Um, there is. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think that would be, uh, be, be quite good. And they're, they're again. The, they don't want people wandering around there, do they? In the middle well, of the, the night, the, going, "Is there anybody there?" The trouble is with these places is a lot of people wouldn't mind if the people that go there and you know us and the people here you treat it with respect but mm. it's the, it's the only it's the few it's the very very few the tiny sort of one percent of people who are absolute dicks and will go there and start doing the most ridiculous things and causing problems that stop it for everyone else yeah and that's just respect isn't it everybody so many so so sorry if we don't answer all the questions or give you all a shout out um hang on a minute would you give a shout out to my daughter maya she is five loves you guys hi maya hi maya how are you thanks nikki lewis um uh would you visit treasure holt again oh, yeah. and can we have a shout out kirsty and cheryl and yvette do you go to most haunted experience yes i do yeah, i do go well. to them um first time here hi gracie welcome hi, gracie, welcome would Enjoy. you go to pevensey eastbourne town center as hardly southern locations are not featured much absolutely we look at yeah. all locations um you should come to gloucester loved you've been to gloucester gloucester prison but that's not in gloucester is it or is it Gloucester yeah, Prison. Yeah, I don't know. In, in no, Prison. no, because there's some. Where is it that says? Um, oh no, there's some places that I've got the name of. No, I know what you mean. I'm only joking. I'm, do, I'm, yeah. I'm just taking the. You are awful. I'm sorry. Please, will you do a big shout out to the team 
Uh, the Lindsay Care Home. They're truly amazing and big fans. Hey, Nikki Blackmore, of course. Hello to everybody hello, at the Lindsay, Lindsay Care, Care Home. Home. Hello, hello, hello. Keep, keep doing up, a great job. Yeah, keep up the great work. Um, would you come back to a uh, Black Country Museum? Oh, my God. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. It's the best place ever. I, I think that's fantastic. Was the most scariest moment the growl in your ear of it one of? And I've had quite a few growls in my ear. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah, and voices? Awful. Would you ever do Cardiff Castle from Paul? Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, would you visit Sally in the Wood near Wiltshire? I don't know what that is, so please forgive me, Anne-Marie. Um, hope you're well. Please tell us about the paranormal experience you've had at home, says John. Um, okay, we'll tell you a few. Um, so when we first moved here, as with most um, ghosts, I'm just spooling up, as with most paranormal uh, uh, homes that have uh, uh, ghosts or spirits in them, when a new family come in, I think the family, uh, the ghosts or the, the people that, that are present here, sort of like to make themselves known um, and like the new family, whoever they are, to know that they're not on their own. And that's exactly what happened to us. So we had a, a variety of different things uh, happening and it sort of escalated, didn't it? Uh, until we sort of sat down in the dining room and did a seance and we found out exactly who was here. Um, that but, was the most amazing thing. Yeah. The fact that we got some names and we, and we, yeah. found, we found one of them in the graveyard. Yeah, really, really interesting. But it, it started off with things like, um, uh, you know, you'd hear running up and down the stairs in the middle of the night or uh, the doors uh, opening and closing, uh, objects going missing on their own and hearing, Mummy! Mummy! That was weird when, when William and Mary weren't here. And what about that old woman? Did she By the bed? shoe? <laughs> she had so many children, I don't think she knew what, what to do. do. Right. do you, what about the, the you woke up and there was a woman by your bed, an old woman offering you a flower? And that was a little girl. A little girl? It was it was a little children? girl. There was, there was that was when up. we lived, lived in the old house. That was it. And I turned over and there was an old woman lying next to me. Talk about shit yourself. I've never leapt out of that bed so quick. Oh, she has. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Tom Flight. Hello, Tom, Yvette and Carl. Tom Flight, How are you both We're tonight? both well, Tom. Thank you, Very Tom. Well, nice to, to see you. Um, Matt Long, Smith. Matt Smith. Love you guys. And quick question. How did Carl and Stuart not run away at the prison? prison? I would... Oh, you went... Yeah, you said, you said not run at... This is a prison we did last week. Yeah, I would not want to go on my own. How do you two not leg it? Um, well, do you know what it is? It, it, it's like... It's one of the things you ask for this stuff to happen. And when it happens, initially, there there is every part of you that wants to go, I just want to get out. Because it is frightening. You know, especially... You know, I could speak for where I was... Um, it was a hospital wing, so the fact it's a hospital wing makes you think it conjures up an awful lot of mm. negative vibe anyway. Um, yet it shouldn't do, because the hospital wing, by the very nature of it, is there to help people. Yeah. Um, but it's very claustrophobic. It was very tight in there, and you f I felt like I couldn't get out. So when stuff's happening, especially when it's from two different ends, you do want to run but you, you can't and at, at the end of the day you try and stay there for as long as you can um and at the end of the day you know what's going to happen i don't think today anyone's died from a ghost hunt so i'm kind of hopefully uh, i'm going to be okay i mean we've all been cut bruised knocked downstairs knocked out well I, I haven't you have no but say Stuart and i and and you it's 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 a difficult thing because you do want to run, but you don't because you 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 just keep you have to keep on investigating and trying to find out what it is, and that's the hard thing. You've got one camera. Mm. And remember with the extras, these are just extras. We haven't got a full team. We haven't got loads of cameras everywhere. So you're you're pushing the camera wherever mm. you can, aren't you? You are. Um, so you're doing the best, but it was great, and I'd love to go back there again. Well, we will go back there again. Just want to say hi to Gracie Shack. Hi Gracie. Hi Gracie. Hello love. Um, oh gosh, it's going so quickly. Was it just doing this annoying me? No, it's not annoying. I was hoping it was. Do I still have horses? Somebody's asked. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, except this stallion. Ah, no, I don't anymore because I did my back in. 
and um, I, 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 it really hurt my back, and so. Uh, well, you, know, you still I, have horses; you just loan them out. I loan so loan other them people out. Have, uh, yes. Uh, um, people would you say hi to Mick Hutchinson, please, from Grimsby? Hi, hi Mick. Mick. How you doing? Um, would you come back to the Isle of Wight? Love the oh, Isle, Isle of Wight. Absolutely we had fantastic. A lot of fun in the Isle. It Wight. was brilliant. Um, uh, suppose it was in fact, we actually had one of our first. I won't go fully into. We had one of our first full crew meltdowns in in there. Where? With laughter, you know, the white. Did we really? Do you remember the stone? Oh, God. Well, <laughs> most wanted story. rock six weeks ago. I went to South Stack Lighthouse. Oh, wow. Great. It doesn't place. say who it's from, though. What's the name? It's gone. Everybody's gone. Ooh, oh, they've gone. Oh. I don't know. Would you ever come back to market? Oh, there you go. Loving the beard, Carl. Would you? Would you consider a return to Oak House, West Bromwich, Definitely. says Lynn Cox Davis. Do you know, Oak House, we had such a great time at Oak House and so much happened in there. Don't you remember that, there, that we had lots of taps, lots of knocks, but we, we had the, um, one of the custodians there. We, are, we asked her to ask questions specifically that no one else would know because she had the history of the house. I don't, remember, got these I don't remember it. It was the one where Glenn and I got the, the Ouija board from the 1500s. Oh, that! That's fantastic. We, we were standing in, the, yes. in a circle and we were at these stairs and the, the lady who, absolutely fantastic lady who, who was in charge of it, and she was asking these specific questions that only she would know the answer to or anyone who had a huge knowledge of that specific house, I guess. And every single one was right. And she was actually blown away because the knocks were precise and they were right to her mm. questions. So it was a great place, very active, very nice. I don't think there's anything negative there, but really good. Uh, what else has people said? What? Well, oh gosh! Oh, it's just so long for my arm. Um, do you ever get relatives of the most? Oh, is it come to Northampton? All oh, right, okay. Let's slow down a bit. Hi from. Which location was your fave when you investigated in America? Says Katie Del Delvers. I hope I've said that correctly. If I haven't, forgive me. Um, that's a good question, actually. Um, there was just so many. I think what was the what was the prison? What was the old prison? Uh, East, Eastern State. Eastern State Penitentiary. That was scary. That was really scary. That was the first one we did. Was it really? I, yeah. And I have to say, you know, for, for you, there isn't, there aren't many presenters in the world that could have done what you did. You know, to take seven hours of live television and hold it together for that amount of time when it's just on you. There's no no cutaways. There's none of this. It was just. Uh, what have you done? Oh no! Where's it gone? No! No! What do I do? No, I don't know. Hang on. Press that. Oh, there, there it is. Um, and, you know, to hold it together for that. I, and I think that the, the one thing forgot me with Eastern State was when we were, we were there, uh, we'd blocked off a couple of roads um, uh, in, in, um, in the city. And we... Can we, I just interrupt you? Hello to Jay from the Roachford Project. Oh, hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. It was Philadelphia, wasn't it? Yes. And we, we blocked off these roads in Philadelphia and we had the police blocking off and the siren, the, the lights going... And we had all these big trucks and these big cranes and everything else. And, and I just remember standing there as, as, you know, as we were both executive producers of it. And it was our little, you know, our little baby. And we'd gone to America and we'd done this and blocked off roads. And um, we were about to take over a channel for seven hours. And that really did something because it, it made me go, all those companies that said it wouldn't work. Mm. And all those people who didn't believe in it. And it only took one, which was Arch Dyson at mm. FlexTech, at, you know, UK Living as it was called then. Uh, and here we were, and, and it was great. But the Americans were just superb, they weren't were they? Really they were lovely, lovely. absolutely lovely. Gem Gem is, is asking, would we ever go back to 30 East Drive? Yeah, I was, do you want to answer this or? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, absolutely. I think it's a fantastic location. Um, the sad thing is, is because um, uh, the, the, the locals and, and some of the young kids there that know when paranormal investigations are going ahead. They'll go and bang on the windows or they'll shout things through the letterbox. And that's a little bit off-putting when you're trying to sort of be quiet and, and listen to things. So for us, I kind of like we didn't really want to go I think it needs resting, to be fair. I yeah. think there's so many different people gone there. Yeah. And, and I just think it needs to be rested for, for a while to, because... Yeah, I keep hearing stories of you know people going in there saying that ghosts of girls there and ghosts of kids and you know our research from the earliest time 
Um, there was never any of that. It's always been one specific spirit, which has been this dark entity of a, of a monk-like figure. I'm just moving this because people are asking questions and I actually can't reach to actually see. They put that behind there. Uh, hi, Rebecca Luca. Uh, Carolyn and Rebecca, we are NHS workers. Love you. Keep up the great work. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Not just for now, but for everything, everything you do. Because it's fantastic. I know this is, this is a trying um, time for everything. I'm just trying to say, would love, uh, would you ever work with mediums again? Absolutely, of course. I'm fine, man. Uh, <laughs> There's lots and lots of wonderful mediums out there, genuine ones. The problem we've had in the past is that um, we have been unfortunate to have worked with um, uh, some mediums that we thought were good, we thought were real, we thought were truthful, and yet we find them uh, in, in the toilets, you know, uh, on, on the phone. <laughs> yeah, it sounds dodgy, you no, know, yeah, sorry, uh, you know, or hiding on the phone, getting information from people. And so you're just like, really? Oh, my God. And what, they forget that they've got their radio mics on and we've recorded many of them, again, on the phone. Can you just tell me a little bit about this? Or uh, reading information. Reading information in and, and, or all of that. And you just think, do you know what? So it's just, forget it. Trust with exactly. the exception, I have to say, with the exception, and I always say this of, uh, of Brian, Brian Shepherd, who is he just was, the best. And he literally, he's the only medium I've ever met. <sighs> Why do I keep doing I that? I have no idea. Sorry, ever, ever, ever met who who has given information, it's, it's, it's personal information, it was t uh, to you that was correct that only you would know. Yeah, that and, was and amazing. And I, he's made And a lovely guy. A truly, truly lovely really guy. Really lovely. We, we do love Brian Shepherd. Uh, Emily Jones. Hello, Emily Jones. Hi, guys. Me and my mum, Angie, love you. Well, thank you very oh, much. much. That's very kind of you. Uh, how about Churchill's Bunker? Now, Anthony Dean, what a... Cr yes. Do you know... We did that, didn't we? That was fantastic. The phone's going off. It was a the hotline, live. The hotline to the king. It, well, it was. But do you? it was a live, wasn't it? Were we live? It was a live we did, but the, 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 that phone wasn't it connected. It was, that's right. It was absolutely fantastic. And it was and it was just such a, a just a moment in my life I don't think I'll, I'll ever, ever forget. Uh, hello, Kerry. M Kerry, M. Kerry M. Dare. M. Dare. Good morning from Australia. Australia. Hello, my Hello, love. Hello, Australia. Hello. I hope you're well over there. Good morning. You've had, your, your, you've um, had a lot going on, haven't you? Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, we were talking about bunker, the bunker. Yeah, Churchill. Churchill's bunker. And I love Churchill, and so do you. And it was just a real pivotal moment in my life because I just sort of walked in and went, oh my God. I didn't even know that it was still there. You know, it was amazing. That's that one. Uh, extra done now, Carl. By the way, how's your strain squeak? Don't know what that means. I don't know. Strain squeak. Strain. Did you say something squeak. on that extra I, show? I, I, you I probably did. You probably did. No, we we, we the, the thing is we've got some. Um, uh, we we hope to put some more extras out, but unfortunately, we we've obviously need the footage. Um, we've. We've got some extra bits and bobs that we are going to be putting out. Um, we do have some some um, uh, extras, but they are with other people at the moment. <laughs> so we haven't got all the footage back yet. So once we get that, we will promise we'll put some more out there. I hope you've liked what we've done, because uh, we just try to give you something to escape from this madness. Nessa Jones, Eden Camp's cat kept brushing against my legs when I was there last year from Warrington. Eden Camp, fantastic. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Lucy Smith Kenway, Carl, what are your tips for a happy marriage? Don't it's... say anything stupid. I'm not, I'm just saying. You're going to that... say. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm just saying to everyone who wants a happy marriage is your wife is always 100% unequivocally correct. Should you have been going to Eden Count with Carl and should have been going to Eden Count with Carl and Stuart tomorrow. So oh, gutted, says Lady so Hawk. It's really annoying, isn't it? This oh. would you ever go back to the Leopard Pub in Stoke on Trent? Absolutely. Oh, gutted, yeah. Fantastic. It, the problem place. we had there was was we we had some great stuff there and it's so it was kicking off, as you know, if you've seen it. But when we did one of the most haunted events there, um the the, the uh, most haunted experiences. The, the the people around the pub decided to have a lock in and a band on, and so you, you, <laughs> yes. you know, even though you've paid an awful lot of money for these people to say we need the the, the you know a little bit of quiet, they just refused. And we you know the sad thing is there's only one part where you could if you could got get if you got knocks could you 
make sure they weren't from the band everywhere else. You didn't know it was a band or people downstairs. And it was a shame because they ruined something that was so good or potentially so good. Hopefully we'll get back to it. We will do. I've just got to say, where's it gone now? There we go. Uh, Andrew Wick or Wyke, please forgive me. Would you go back to Michelin Priory 2020 as a live for Halloween? Absolutely. It's it, 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 it's the first place we ever went to. We went back for our 100th episode yeah, and it was brilliant. fantastic. I mean, oh, that is, if you want to go to a truly 100% haunted house, that's it. It's got everything. You've got your your piano playing on its own. You've got monks. You've we got had a flipping, doppelganger. Doppelganger. Oh. Yeah. You've got poltergeist activity. You've got. I mean, quite evil stuff. Like you've all got scratched yeah. when we went back. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it just it just gave. It just kept giving. Uh, have you finished the birdhouse? Yes. No. He's making a new one. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm going to fix the other one as well. You are? Oh, in time. Say, two birdhouses. Yvette, you look gorgeous. Oh, Katie, oh, that's so sweet that's of you. Sketchy. She does look gorgeous. Yeah, uh, so. and Carl, the beard suits you. What got you into the paranormal? Um, well, I, I was always scared of it. Um, and uh, growing up as a kid, my very first, first, first paranormal experience was when I was very, very little. I must have only been about three. And... Um, and I felt something playing with my hair. And then my uh, music box opened. And it played the theme tune from what I now know is to be the theme tune from... Um, what's that What's that gangster movie in three parts called? You know, uh, way, way too ugly thing you've got... Oh, the Godfather. The Godfather. Gangster movie in three parts. <laughs> Oh, it's just love you. Oh, no, sorry. But you know what I mean? And it played... What's the, what's the tune from that movie? Oh, I can't remember. No, no, no. Gay Ant, he said a big yes to Newton House. Are you gay by any chance, Ant? <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, Newton House, we should go to New back to Newton House. Uh, it would be wonderful to go back to Michelin Priory, wouldn't it? Yeah, I, th I still think Michelin Priory is probably the, one of the most haunted places. Not necessarily the, the most, certainly not violent, in, in that some violent stuff happens, but... Certainly one of the most haunted because, mm. you yeah, know, when we first, and it, it's dear to us because when we first started this journey, we didn't know what to expect. Yeah. We didn't even know there were night vision cameras for crying out loud. Mm. Um, and so when we started, we turned all the lights off and we started our investigation. It was so scary. It was oh all new. Oh my God, and, yeah. And, and, um, and there was one point which, again, we didn't film because we were, we were new to it. We, we did one of your pieces to camera uh, and it was in a, uh, a room which had a piano in it. So if you see that piece where Yvette's talking... When we walked out, the um, the lighting guy said, um, "Oh, I need to go and get some other lights." So as we we'd all walked out together, as and we he turned around to get the lights, and all of the lights, and it must have happened in a, in, a, in a microsecond, had moved to the side. Yeah. Do you remember that? I do. And everyone was like, "It's just madness." It, but anyway. Uh, sorry, I'm concentrating on on, on this. MZ Tal. Talbzy, please forgive me. I'm sorry, MZ. Have you investigated Peterborough Cathedral no, we haven't. at all? No, no, we haven't. I haven't done that. Uh, oh, sorry. Most haunted rocks. I was on about when Carl farts when under strain. Do I fart? I don't fart under strain. You're the one who farts under strain. I do. In fact, there's an extra coming out very soon. Not an extra. There's a, 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 a an outtakes which which I'll upload. If you want to see them, I'll, I'll upload them for next week. Um, where Yvette is farting uh, through strain because she's scared. No, no I, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Um, Matt Smith, what is the thoughts on paranormal equipment? Really good question. Um, and uh, it comes in two parts. Uh, the first part is this, there's, there's some fantastic um, paranormal equipment out there that really does aid a paranormal investigation. But in my view, this is just my personal opinion and yours might differ, in my personal opinion, there's, there's some of the equipment um, that's coming out and has been used on other television programmes where um, I think it hinders the investigation and you people are so led by... Um, uh, for instance, the... Um, uh, um, I don't know what you flipping call them now, but we used to call them Frank's Box. Oh, um, and the sort of uh, the uh, radio where it picks up radio uh, frequencies, um, and what's that one, Carl? And um, picks up radio frequencies. Go on. That's Louise uh, Mitchell. Uh, hi, lovelies. Uh, have the most haunted team ever thought of using? E 
tap, just tap it. Can't. No. Oh no. There, that's it. Pain, isn't it? Quite a pain on there. I know. Oh, hang on. No, oh, it's gone now. Louise, your, your message is gone for some reason. I don't know why. Why has it been deleted? Are we, I think, was it EVP you were asking about? Yes, I'm not sure. I think so. Because we use that a lot and we've got some great stuff. And yes. I think in the um, Birmingham lockup, we had probably the best EVP oh, ever. Oh, yes. With, no, with no, 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 it was awful. Anyway, this, the, um, uh, what was I talking about? Yes, sorry. The... Oh, look, Barry Stevens. Look, look, Barry Stevens. What a prick. <laughs> Barry, you're a prick. Yeah. Bye. Um, I will get this answer out. Um, and it is the second part of the answers. Well, uh, we need, oh, 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 my oh. goodness me. We need Mary on here, don't we, really, to help us out. Shall I call Mary? Yeah, we have watched the most farted series and we think it's absolutely fantastic. Let me get, let me yes, we are going to, if we do Newton House in Wales again, but we are looking at... At, um, uh, uh, at going back to Wales a lot because there's a lot there, um, and well, yeah, what happened to Fred at Ruth Ruthin was was weird. We we still don't know. He he doesn't know. He just went blank. Will you come down here, darling? Um, we need a bit of help. We've had so. Do you many ever watch uh, back old footage from investigations? We we Bye. do. Uh, we, we we do. Don't get when we're in the edit. We we constantly watching footage. So we we we're, we're constantly watching all of it that we possibly can. Um, so we sit, by the time it comes on air, we've seen it so many times. Um, Would you come know. back to Mains Hall, says Jessica Housen. Yes. Uh, my mum used to live there when she was a little girl. Love you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Mains Hall, that was good. Amanda Davis, would you have a party with fans after lockdown? Yes. Uh, if you come to our Anytime podcast, which hopefully we will be doing again, uh, just tap on it. Oh, no, you're doing that. Yeah. Um, Bar Barry's being a complete cock. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what you, Barry, Barry do you know what Barry um, uh, love and light to you sweetheart because I know, I, know, I, know, I know you do but I just say I think you're lovely and I hope I, that I think you're nothing but loveliness and happiness to you in your life anyway Going back to my quest, my answer, which was about equipment, um, what we call Frank, what we call Frank's box, which is the little device that people use, and they uh, it, it's it scans the uh, the airwaves and takes certain words, and you'll say, can you give me a name, and it'll say, jump, all this kind of stuff. There's another one. Um, I think it, it really does hinder an investigation because I've watched on Facebook Live and I've watched some of these paranormal investigations and everybody's just stood, just sort of transfixed by this box. And I think it's a real shame because they could be missing so much other, so many other things that are going on. And the whole investigation is surrounded by this one piece of equipment. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, my, uh, that's my thought on that. But funnily enough, that uh, uh, today I was doing a bit of meditation, and do you want to ask me that? Ask that question. Oh, fucking hell! I know this thing keeps doing that. What's this? That's another one. Would you release them on DVDs? Oh, oh gosh. Jesus! <laughs> right, Mary, we're going to have to. Now, get Laura, in here. Laura did say about. That's gone. Ian Blake's message. Sorry, Ian, your your message is gone, mate. I couldn't I couldn't see it for some reason. Lots of peop people are paying to ask questions, and it's it's a shame because we can't, can't read them out quick life. enough. Uh, looking forward to, to Mary's... Next uh, live next about which, witches, says Maureen. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Right, um, Mary. I think I, I think just to... Oh, crumbs, what's that? Phil, Phil Goldsmith, do you still keep in contact with old team members? Um, like, not really, no. Like, no, not really. No, um, they're, they're, everyone's got their some, lives. Some of them we do, some of them yeah. we don't. We yeah, just sort of, not... you kind of, as you do in life, don't you kind of separate, really? And, yeah. Um, hi, Mary, says Nicola Simpson. Hi, Mary, sorry your Twitter account got banned. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just, yeah, I think with, with the, 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 um, the machinery thing, mm. it, the, the, the problem is that there's no such thing as a ghost hunting machine. Uh, you know, every machine that's used for ghosting has was designed for something else. It was never used to, dis to for ghost hunting. And so everything is an adaption to, uh, to to try and catch a ghost. Now, the problem I have with it is because no one's ever caught a ghost mm -hmm. and contained one, no one's ever um, analysed it to know what it's made of. And if you don't know what it's made of, how can you make a machine to detect it? You can't. I think that um, 
obviously, if these machines work for people and they're fine, I think good luck to you and go for it. I fully respect you doing that. And if you get some great um, evidence, brilliant. Just for me, I think that you can be misled by stuff. I mean, that stick figure thing, I think, is absolutely I do. ridiculous. Connect, 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 oh, whatever yeah. it's I, I, We did a full um, three-month... Um, uh, test on it you, and, yeah. and we worked out you can depending on where you have it you can create anything you want on that thing and and you know, it, it reflections off of walls if there's a shiny surface if there's somebody's wearing a specific type of coat it will reflect and make it look like something's standing next to them or something's walking through the room um and we did try to contact them and said look if you make this work you know uh, if you get rid of these issues um it could potentially be a quite good um uh a piece of equipment but they never did yeah. because obviously people are still using them i did what's my thing? just going to say about the paid comments people are paid for everyone's saying that if you click on this little icon here you might be able to see it i just don't want to mess anything no, up go on, click um, on it see if that works hello no. or is it that one no Oh, so as in, oh, they come up here. Oh, so as in, Phil. I see. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right, got you. Okay. Um, I, weirdly enough, I did some meditation today talking about equipment and everything. And I did a meditation um, and um, I, I, I got a name. Uh, I won't say the name. Um, it was very strange. It was an Indian name. And when I woke up, I, I typed his name in the, in the Google search. And um, uh, in my mind, in the meditation, it, it said, um, f uh, this person said, follow the path that I'm leading you on. Anyway, I typed in this man's name into the Google engine and it came up that he was a professor and he, um, he researches sound waves and antennae uh, and um, all sorts of, to do with radio waves and so on. Anyway, I, I emailed him today. <laughs> I emailed him to see if we'd possibly be interested in perhaps getting together. This is what I want to do and we want to do is perhaps come up with a new invention or a new a new um, prototype or, or something uh, to try and communicate with the other side. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just very keen on, on science and I keep asking scientists, would they please um you know get come along to an investigation because the knocking phenomena is so extraordinary to me and i know we've been having this knocking phenomena for a very very long time but i want science to be involved in it i want them to measure it and i want them to listen to it and record it and find out what it is and i think science should be uh, more involved in, in, I, in the program. I absolutely agree. We're just about to lose this. And that's just okay. someone's asked, uh, ask, uh, what, why do you think the spirits hide themselves from living? I don't think they do. No, I don't, th I don't, I don't think, think they, they, do. they, they, some don't know that they're there. Some, they're just living their lives, I think. And sometimes those planes cross. Um, is there anywhere you'd, that you haven't visited you'd like to? I'd like to go to the catacombs in Paris. I think that would be uh, amazing. Alcatraz for me. Alcatraz yeah. would be good. I'm a huge fan of the show, says Harvey. It's been an escape during this troubling time. I've had depression for about two years and this has helped. So Aww. thank you. Oh, Harvey. Harvey yes. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Well, I don't know if we put a smile on your face, but hopefully we've taken your mind off it. Uh, Higgy Pop. Hi. A hundred thousand listeners Higgy Pop yeah. have got on, on views, their YouTube. Views, views, views. views on, subscribers. Uh, subscribers so on, the their, on, on his YouTube channel. Well done, mate. We're you, so old fashioned. We don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> the way no, but so at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's a huge achievement. It is well done. fantastic. Congratulations. Hard work. Hard, hard work. Uh, given that you get so much activity, do you think it could be that you're more haunted than the locations or do you just have the right energy? I, this is what I, I believe. I think that because we've been doing it for such a long time and we've been doing it uh, regularly, I think um, we're like little dynamos. And I think when we get together, it's almost like they need, mm. they need the electricity and the energy. And there's so much we don't understand. And I think that's possibly what is why I always advocate to people, if you want to get into the paranormal, do it with, 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 with people that you love. Do it with like-minded people and do it regularly. And the more you do it, the more you do a sitting circle and the more you do investigations, the more paranormal activity you'll get. But I also think that, that it, it's about your attitude mm. when you're doing it. Because when I walk into a room, I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever. Yeah. Absolutely no doubt that something's going to happen. There is something there and it's going to happen. I don't walk into a room and think, I wonder if something's going to happen. I have 100%... 
um, unwavering belief that something will happen. And, and that, for me, I think, is, is that positive attitude. If you can constantly put that in. We've had it before where you can have a group of positive people getting some great stuff. One negative person walks in and it just changes. Yeah, and it I, just I, goes. I know, I've noticed um, that. Hi guys, Michelle says. Will you ever go back to Pendle Hill? Pendle Hill. Yeah, we We'd would. We'd love to go back to Pendle Hill. Carl, Connect V2 is good. I will bring mine to Shrewsbury in September, says Ali. It, do you know what, Ali? Please do, and 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 I will. I will. Uh, the Connect V2 is is hugely flawed, and I will. I will show you how flawed that is. Um, <laughs> she's, she's rolling her eyes now. No, like, no, no, oh. I just, no. Because it, because no, you need, right, you, you need yeah. to know what the, the. It doesn't mean that everything that it does is flawed. It just means you can, if you know where the flaws are, you can. Mm. You can um, uh, steer around those and get some other good stuff with it. Because just to finish off on the, the uh, machinery thing, it, it, I don't want people to think I don't like any machines. I think EVP stuff is great because we've got some great stuff oh, with EVP. I love EVP. And I like the EMF stuff because if you've got no um, no electricity uh, and the mm. EMF meter is going off, there must be a, an energy there. Mm. Definitely. Um, I think that was something to do with Keith Lemon. It says, <laughs> Keith Lemon is that Lincoln? We actually did take Keith Lemon on a Oh, yes, we did. She did it. Lichen. With... Sorry, I need to say his full name. Lichen, I, please forgive me, of the underworld. Oh. Um, yes, so do you want to tell the story about Keith Lemon? Well, uh, we, we were, you were doing. Um, a it was a spoof. Halloween special, me and Kelly Brooks. You, and Kelly Brooke and Keith, Keith yeah. in, a, in a, it was a spoof. The day after and I came back from that Australia. Was right. That was yeah. right. And it was, um, and it was a, uh, we were in this old haunted house to do it. And Keith was very much kind of being Keith. And Keith's lovely. Uh, he really is. But he was, um, he's not really believing it. And Kelly, who, um, I've known Kelly for years, and you've known her for quite some time, haven't you? One and off. And um, so she, but, oh, it's the dog. And, um, uh, so we just went off and did, well, we ended up in this cupboard, the four of us, this tiny little cupboard. And there were knocks and bangs he and everything. Know, he didn't, didn't know, know what, what to do. Didn't know what to do, did he? Didn't know what to do. He, he was just like... And he started trying to do jokes. He actually came out and he said, the reason I was joking is this class shit. scared. Which is great. Um, uh, third time lucky, my mum, Pam and I have been fans of yours, says Ian Blake, since series one. Thanks for many years of entertainment. Please, can you say hi to her? Hello, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam, hi, Blake. Pam Blake. How are you doing? Uh, I hope you're well. And thank you so much for watching us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sticking with us. Um, love the matchy glasses. Love most haunted, says Laura Anison. Uh, since she, she was a kid, I'm 33 now. Oh my God, I'm so old. Uh, you're all keeping world spirits high. Thank you all. Big shout out to Witchy Wednesday too, Mary. <laughs> yeah, just to let you know, um, both Jesus and Bruce Lee died at 33. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what the one did that come from? Do you come out with some, some stuff? What's this one? Uh, there are a few. That's the same one. Oh, there are a few that people are kind of putting like two pound ninety nine towards it, but they won't. They're not showing up. Um, so ooh. would you? The Vatican. What's the Vatican? The Vatican. Um, oh, the Vatican. I would. I would love to get the Vatican um, uh, for a ghost hunt. Um, I don't know what we'd uncover. I'll better shut up there. Why? Oh, you're gonna say oh, oh yeah, don't yeah. Say else. Um, let's yeah. have a look. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Is come to Northern Ireland. Here we go. Would you consider this is from? Oh, how do you pronounce that? Zine. Would you consider coming over to Northern Ireland or Ireland more? There are so many locations here with the potential. Spring Hill is a great location. Would absolutely. We went to, to Ireland many, many years ago in the first couple of series, I think it was, and we did. What was the castle called? Lep. Castle. Lep Castle. Oh, fantastic. Um, Actually, we did... Um, did quite a few. Chilling, three low castles. Chilling, no, Chillingham. Not Chillingham. It's called Charleville Forest Castle. Charleville Forest Castle. Fantastic place. We, um, place we did quite a few locations there, and it was really, really fabulous and loved it and loved to come back to Ireland. And somebody else asked as well, um, am I going to be on any mo more Most Haunted Extra on the YouTube channel? Well, the thing is, I haven't been able to because of the lockdown. So as soon as the lockdown is eased, then I can go back out into the real world. Yay! <laughs> is it ready for you? Well, probably not. Um, uh, hey, Mary, you okay, vet? Do you believe in Zozo? Love ya. Now, what's Zozo? 
isn't I, sw I know that there was like this internet thing called Momo, which was targeting kids and 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 all this sort of stuff. And I think it's one of those Bloody Mary type things. Oh, is it where you I, say I you say things and the devil comes uh, out and yeah. stuff like that? No, no I, I don't, don't really. That, um, that stuff. Um, uh, Chelsea uh, uh, and Emily is asking. Um, would we go back to Draco Tunnels? Yeah, we, yeah. I, we, we go back there quite a lot you with the um, yeah. most haunted experience, and we have some great stuff there. Actually, we, we, we've we've you know lots of lights floating and people seeing. I mean, we had some people there, and there were about I think four or five of them who saw a full-bodied apparition, which is obviously the the, the you know the thing we're all after. Um, but they they all swore they saw the same thing, and it was a full-bodied apparition all at the same time. Which is great. Everybody's saying that Zozo is a demon that has come from a Ouija board. Zozo, you can bite me. <laughs> to be honest, though, I think... Do you mind just giving it... Go for it. I think that when people believe that there are certain demons that will come from Ouija boards, I think that sometimes that believing so much in it can sometimes bring that out. Mm -hmm. But that just shows that the that shows the intent. And, and and it's like I say, with all of these things, it's, you know, whether you're doing a chant, whether you're doing a, 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 a whatever, it's a about intent it, it the words themselves don't matter it's about what the intent is behind the words it's like when somebody says i love you if they don't mean it the words themselves are meaningless mm, that's true stephen green is saying do you watch any of the uh, american or other paranormal shows there are other I, paranormal don't, shows. Yeah, I don't watch any paranormal programming i don't watch any horror movies or any for those people who know me well will know this because they scare the living shit out of me. I cannot go to sleep. I cannot watch Most Haunted. If the house is empty uh, and these guys are off doing stuff, there's no way I'll watch Most Haunted. And then, are you kidding me? Living in this house and then having to go to bed with that? You must be joking. No way. I don't watch any of them. So I don't even know what any of them are about. I don't know who's in them. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Not at all. It's not something I... You know, I'd rather watch the Waltons, you know, when I'm on my own. Don't watch anything spooky, which is bizarre, I know. <laughs> Harry's saying watch Insidious, that. No, it's all right. <laughs> I had to do a... I had to do, a um, do you remember when we had to go to London to that hotel and they did a private cinema? And it was this... There's the something exorcism of Emily Rose. And they asked me to, to do a... <laughs> What, what do you call it when you do a critique of it for a oh, newspaper? Course, a review. Yeah. A review. Yeah, yeah. And they, they paid uh, myself and Carl to go down there and we sat in this private cinema. I I, I had to be given hot, it. sweet tea afterwards because I was in shock. I was in shock. And, 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 and a lot of people know it's not that scary, according to a lot of people, but I cannot watch anything like that. I've never watched The Exorcist and I won't watch it. Well, I need to say hello to Sarah and Finn. In hello, Cork. Sarah and Finn in oh, Cork. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, yeah. Uh, lovely. See you in December, I think they're saying. Yay, cool. lovely. Yeah, I can't wait for this to be... Uh, this, this, I know everyone wants this lockdown to be over, yeah. but um, uh, I can't wait to get back to ghost hunting. It's, I it, know. I have to say, I'm missing it. I'm watching, you know, uh, snippets and clips of you on Most Haunted Extra, and I have to say I'm very envious and jealous because I think, God, I'd love to be there with you. But they were great fun. They were absolutely great yeah. fun. And they, well, they still are. You still got a few, few in in the doodah. What lots um, of gone? Right. Okay. Zozo. This is from James. 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 Hi, James. Urban, James gorgeous. Is, is, is an urban legend, basically an old creepy past like slender man. Unfortunately, the internet has spread. Yeah, it's typical. Do you, did you yeah. know? Do you want to know a really creepy story? Not really. Um, <laughs> Actually, based on that, you know, you know, Slender Man. People actually no. no. So basically, you remember when I used to be really into creepy? Yes, bastards? you did. Yeah. 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 With Slender Man, so many people began to believe that his story was real. They rent out and tried to murder people. Oh, I know. To I go know and that. please him. Yeah, I know. And like to go What's and be a pastor. Then I think they meant eating. Creepy, creepy pastor. Creepy pastor it's a, it's is a, a type of. It's like a website. It's stories and stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought Better you meant pasta wash. that you eat. I was no. like, right, okay. Um... What does that mean? There's so many things oh, going I up. No I idea. don't understand it. Um, I answered that one. No. What? Um, well, it, okay, well, okay. What are you saying? What? What TV series could you both binge watch, says Lycan of the Underworld? Well, funny enough, tonight we're going so I, I, I'd got that when I first looked at it, but you tutted. What? <sighs> Do you want the back of my hand or what? Is that promise? Anyway, we're going to go upstairs to bed after I've given him a good battering 
and I'm going to actually... Yeah, but you haven't answered that question. I'm going to answer it now! Oh. I'm answering it. I'm answering it. This isolation ain't working. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> New tricks. That's what we're going to watch at the moment. What do we think of Fred's voodoo doll demonstration? Is it a new one or the one that he did on the the, the, the show? Because there was one he did on the show, which I, I still find quite fascinating. That was to this absolutely day. fantastic. Uh, but he's done it twice because he did one on um, uh, he did one on the live, and it, it was with Brian. You know, Brian caught. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh, and that was on the live show, so that was that was really good. It, oh, what was that one? Uh, would you come and investigate uh, Rochford? Yeah, definitely. Ro Rochford's right. If you choose one place to investigate. Um, okay, we sort of mentioned that earlier, didn't we? Uh, I mean, mum will be... Yeah. We, we have mentioned What did that. I say? I can't remember. Um, uh, a place that, you on said the island, Alcatraz. Did Alcatraz. You said Alcatraz. Yes, that would be cool. Would It would be really frightening to be spend the night on Alcatraz, wouldn't Do you think it? we should do a live from our own house? No, 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 no. No, 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 yes. Everyone else says yes. Yes, everyone says yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah, but you don't have to sleep here, do you? <laughs> we, do, we do, I do. And then I'm left here on my own while everybody else yeah, goes but out. You don't know what goes on when you're not here. Mary and I did a Ouija board earlier with that bloody dog. <laughs> Sorry? When you went out for a little drive. No, you did not. Stop it. For a little walk. No, because you know I'll be upset if you did something is like that. Is there going to be a new series coming out? Uh, there is. We've got a whole new series ready. Um, oh, look. Hi all, I mm. love the most haunted. And we love you. Love um, there is a new series. You've got a whole series sort of ready to go. Um, but we just kind of hang on to it for a little bit. And then we're halfway through the other one before this bloody lockdown. This is bloody lockdown, innit? Right, what's that? Uh, on, You've done that one. It's this one. Can you give a shout out to my friend Rachel? Uh, she's a big fan of yours. We've been watching you since series one. Hi, Hi Rachel. Rachel. Hi. Look, he's Watson. Even watch the same thing. Ooh, can't say hello. You can't. You can't. Hello. Say hello to Rachel and everybody else. Say hello. 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 Oh, mummy's baby. Mummy's baby. Yeah. This is it all day long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Oh. Do you want to try some tea? Do you want to try some tea? What the fuck? Tea? What? <laughs> what? what? He doesn't want any fucking tea. Don't swear. There's no need to swear, is there? Get, Just because you've got your beard. Get, 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 <laughs> Do you want some red lipstick? Oh, <laughs> disgusting. Wild, <laughs> nasty. Yes. Well, my mum and grandma used to give our old Jack Russell a cup of tea, a saucer of tea every day, and it lived to about flipping 90 odd. Now, um, it's most Australian. Most Australian? Most haunted, Australian. Mo most haunted, uh, where is it? Have you ever considered Maryborough. visiting. Uh, Australia. Maryborough is said to be the most haunted town in Australia. I'd love to go. We Maybe. were supposed to come to Australia, but the bosses of a living TV at the time uh, wouldn't wouldn't let us. And it was all set up for us to go. We did all the, the legwork oh, to go. Don't. And then they um, they put the kibosh on it. Uh, we have been so Oh wait till the wait till the book comes the book out. Comes oh out. my god, you'll be like, no way. Yes. You go we, to Carlton House and series one locations? We've been to hell and back. Hell and back. But we keep devil, going. Devil man. Just give him. Just Hi, <laughs> devil man. Hi, devil man. Um, fantastic. Hello from Aberdeen. Hello, hello, hello. Episode at the Royal Court Theatre we talked about. Oh, my boxer dog. Cassie has two teaspoons of rice pudding every morning before a breakfast. <laughs> well, there you go. Didn't I hear that one, Watson? But, but again, people don't realise that they, 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 they no, did I a most haunted it. book. Oh, you could be. Um, I think uh, Living did one, didn't they? A most haunted mm. book. And it had absolutely nothing to do with us. And the pictures that they had next to the write-ups that it was someone who basically did a, a ghost writing job. We had nothing to do with it. They wouldn't let us. They didn't want us to have anything to do with it. And so all the pictures 
didn't, not all the pictures, but some of the pictures didn't match with the description they were given, which was hilarious. And so when the second book came out, we actually refused to have anything to do with it and allowed to put the name to it. So uh, there, was, there wasn't any more than that. Now, Amanda's saying, uh, um, Alan, this is important. Uh, Alan, her hubby, uh, is just 18 days younger than me. And uh, he was he was born in Guildford. What? <laughs> he was born in Guildford. A lovely person up there, just so you know. He's going to Worcester, the old infirmary hospital. Oh, I'd love to go to Oh, Worcester. that sounds good. Anywhere like an old hospital. Now, the Guild prison. Hall, the Guild Hall, I think it's in Worcester. We were supposed to be doing a Guild Hall in Worcester, but the mayor, I could have this wrong, but I'm pretty sure, it, no, I'm not going to say anymore because I might have the wrong place, but I know one of the places we were going to do a Guild Hall and the mayor uh, became an absolute dick. Um, <laughs> and, and decided that um, he didn't think that the exorbitant fees that these places charge was enough and it wasn't fair that ghost hunters should be able to use these places that need as much money as they can possibly get. What a complete dick. I don't know if it was him, but I'll actually check and next time we do one of these I'll let you know that that's... You get uh, yourself comfy there, Watson. Yeah. What the... What? 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 Yeah. You're so chill to be up there with you. Stop swearing. Yeah, someone's saying stop swearing. Yeah, no, 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 no do it. No, what? I didn't swear. No, I just no, called him a dick. No. Dick isn't swearing. No, I know. Hampton Court Palace, yes. We actually went round there. Call him um, a wanker swearing. Oh, stop it, because there's children could be watching. Uh, it's not for children. I've put it in there. It says this is not for children. Mm. Anyway, Hampton Court Paris Palace, we went round to you. do... Um, a put from you. We went round to do a recce, and as we were walking round, we got loads of taps. We did. Got loads of banging and tapping. Um, and, and actually said we could do it, didn't they? But we could yeah. only use the back rooms, which were just like... Yeah. They, they were, yeah. Room. We couldn't do it. Someone's asking how old Watson was. Is, not he, was. He'll <laughs> be, <he'll> be, <laughs> be six uh, uh, in December. Yeah, look at that little face. Oh, yeah, this all day long. Oh, yeah, day long. no. Yeah. <gasps> Mary and I don't even get a look in no, anywhere. No, we this don't. Look, 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 and it knows. Look, it's looking at me going, yeah, screw you, Dad. Here's what Nathan says. I'm guessing he means, would you consider, like, investigating the real conjuring house? Oh, yeah. So the ones that Ed and Lorraine Warren... Yeah. It does, honestly. This dog, this dog gets more love. He's the most loved thing in this house. Oh, the little baby boy. Oh, the little baby. Go on. You say hello to Robbie. No, no, no. Don't no. tell me, Dick. Why? Just, Just stay, stay there. There, <laughs> there we go. Don't, please don't fart, Watson. Oh, please fart. No, please don't. Do you wait for me? You're going to fart? No. Fart? No. His little tail's wagging, just under your chin. <laughs> Not for the first time. You said hello to everybody. <laughs> That's so rude. Someone's saying no swearing as he vets a children's author, That's you know. Right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm a children's author, you know. Just one last thing. Do you think people make up places are haunted just to make money? Yeah, they do. Uh, we, we have quite a rigorous... <laughs> Dog. No, we have quite a rigorous process when we're filming that uh, that they have to pass uh, a certain criteria. Um, and there's things like, you know, a lot of ghost stories have to be corroborated by different people and, and historically corroborated as well. Um, <laughs> We've done that one. Well. Little, little, little baby, I love this dog. Look at his little chubby face. Look at his chubby face. Aww. Look at his, look at his face. girl. We love Watson too, and it was lovely meeting you. There you go. Well, anyway, I hope you guys are all okay. Um, I know it's a very odd, strange time, but look at me leaning over this dog. Um, Not for the first time. Yeah, as always, we're send shut up. As always, we're sending love to you. And uh, no, Mary. No, 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 no. No, no, no don't no. make that no. noise because you know it makes him go crazy. No, I'm talking about okay. Carl. <laughs> you sit down now, Watson. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, you've got him up there. You get him down. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, oh, oh. Bye. <laughs> Fighter. Fighter all the way. He wants to stay up there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at his little face. He said, what was wrong? Oh. 
He's just had his face up Olive's oh, jacket. <laughs> oh, he's a glance <laughs> oh, That was worth watching, wasn't it? He was. He was just licking Fanny's. I mean, uh, Olive's Fanny. Gross. Yes, you were. Uh, got engorged, anal glands. <laughs> believe she just said that. Yes, Olive has been dragging her bottom around outside on the concrete, so I've wormed her, and if it doesn't get any better, she's going to have to go to the vets. And now Carly doesn't know that, and he's just kissed Watson's face. Who's had his face up her di Hi! How's that? That's lovely. Oh, the tap's still no. the Oh, what a Wow. wow. It's so... Honest to goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> Give a dog a snog, Ow. eh? Ow. What are you doing? Hot water? It was fucking hot. Oh dear. <laughs> There's so oh. much sympathy there. Oh dear. I know. Oh dear, he's making a song and dance about nothing. You alright, love? Oh, God. Oh, poor Watson. He's offended. Offended by yeah, that. Poor Watson. Why are you so disgusting? I'll so just burn the bloody lips off. <laughs> Ow. I know how he feels. Ow! <laughs> Well, you should just drink more cranberry juice, you don't care. Oh! oh! Do you no, know, there's no need. There's no need. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Right, I think it's time to say goodbye. We've been talking for an hour and 15 minutes. I've just put hand sanitizer all in my mouth. God, that did half hurt. Are you all right? Well, I went to put some... I wanted to wash that stuff off, but it was boiling water. I burnt my lips. You'll get nothing tonight. These are going to swell. Oh, disgusting. Uh, right, on that note. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. That hurt. That really hurt. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Ow.